Hi, Sainath. I hope you're doing well. Yes, sir. Yes. So, Sainath, I saw your profile for the position of data analyst. Uh, so, Sainath, would you like, uh, would you please uh, walk me through your profile? Hi, yes, sir. First of all, thank you for giving this opportunity. Myself, Sainath Reddy. Mm -hmm. I have completed my B.Tech Bachelor of Technology in Natsuma Reddy Engineering in the stream of computer science and engineering. Okay. And I have learned some of the skills during my academics and after completing my academics that are the skills are SQL, Power BI, Python, and Excel. Mm -hmm. And I have done some of the projects based on SQL and Power BI, okay. which was I was taking the data sets from the YouTube or from the uh, Kaggle. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, so, um, I mean, uh, let's say uh, while you were dealing with some of the other projects, okay. So, how would you prioritize your task uh, when working on multiple projects, Sainath? First, I will focus on any one of the project. Mm -hmm. And first, I want to complete that project. Then, I in that project only, mainly the time-taking process is the data cleaning. Mm -hmm. And data pre-processing is the time-taking that much. Okay, well, well, well. So, uh, have you faced any situation where you have to face a significant challenge in your uh, work and uh, how did you overcome it? Um, I am unable to, in, in, when I am doing one Power BI project in car sales dashboard, Okay. in that one I have faced one of the challenges like I am unable, means unable to know the some of the DAX queries, okay. to write some of the DAX queries. Mm -hmm. That is the problem I have faced. Okay, well, well. So, um, Sainath, um, as you know, you are applying for the position of data analyst. So, how do you stay updated in this uh, current field and latest trends and advancement? I always try to learn new things which are coming, the new tools. Mm -hmm. uh, daily, I want to updating day by day. That is the main I am doing, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, tell me about uh, a time when you had to collaborate with your team or any any of the project members, what was your role and how did you ensure a successful collaboration? Sir? I'm telling you that, uh, tell me a time when you had to collaborate with a team or your group members, project members to complete a project and what was your role and how did you successfully collaborate? Any idea? I mean, any 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 of the situation where you had to, you know? No. Okay, okay. Fine. Not an issue. So, uh, Saina, just let me know what all tech stacks are you familiar with? Uh, the skill set. SQL? SQL, Power BI, Excel, Python, nowadays I'm started. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. So let's start with Excel. How would you rate yourself on a scale of 10? Uh, six. Six, all right. So my first question is, uh, how do you use Excel to forecast future trends based on historical data? Uh, describe a scenario where you have to build a forecasting model. First, we can, first we have to convert the data into the pivot tables. Okay. Pivot tables, after pivot tables, we can uh, keep the fields and we can get the charts by using that one. Well, means there are fields, no, sir, x axis, y axis, and values. Uh -huh. We have to place uh, the requirement needs according to that one and we have mm -hmm. the charts. Like if uh, if we see line charts, this will, uh, by using line charts, we can easily get the trends, uh, how it is increasing or decreasing day by day. Okay. Uh, by these, I, we can do. Okay. Well, Sainath, uh, can you explain me with a, a repetitive, you know, how would you automate a repetitive task in Excel using VBA? Are you familiar with VBA again? Visual basic. Uh, starting, yes. I know the macros. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so could you provide me with an example for a micros, complex micro you created? Anything? Han. No, nothing I have done, sir. Okay, okay. Macros. Okay, so how would you automate it, uh, automate repetitive task in Excel? 
Um, see, if we want to repeat any or any one of the task in mm -hmm. Excel, first we have to start the macro. Okay. To uh, we have to give the data which we want to repeat it again and again. Mm -hmm. Then we have to stop that macro and we, we, if we wanted to use that uh, if we wanted to use that particular topic again and again, we have to give the macro which we have saved or assigned. In VBA, we can use this one. Okay. Are you sure on that? Hi, yes, sir. Okay. Well, um, sign up. Uh, describe me a time when you had to merge and analyze data uh, from multiple Excel workbooks. How would you ensure data integrity and accuracy? When we are merging? Yes. Merging and analyzing the data. I think when we are merging, mm -hmm. when we are merging the data in different two tables. Okay. Sometimes we will get an issues like names. Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Uh, different, different column names. Mm -hmm. um, we have to check. We have to. We have to. Good when we are checking the column names. Why? Because the there will be a data issues when we are calculating calculating for the trends in that one tables. In that. Okay. So any functions or anything you would use. Huh, there is, if you want to combine the columns, we have a merge function. Okay. And append. Mm -hmm. What else? The, uh, append these two. What else? Alt, what uh, alter, alternative ways you can uh, hunt to analyze and merge the data? Anything else apart from this? I don't know. Well, not an issue. So, uh, Sainath, uh, just uh, tell me how quick are you in SQL? I mean, how would you rate yourself on a scale of 10? 7.5. 7.5. So, next, uh, let me ask questions from SQL as well. Okay. So, uh, tell me how would you design a database schema for a new e-commerce platform to efficiently handle large volumes of transaction and user data? See, for we can create uh, this one structure you procedure. Can what? Structure procedure. Mm -hmm. Data. Okay. We can. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Structure provision is not um, SQL index. SQL, SQL index to faster or the to improve the performance of the uh, operations which you are um, performing on the table or the database. Mm -hmm. Very plays a crucial role in, um, in the performance of the queries which we have taken. Means it will optimize the queries. Okay, but I'm here asking about the designing part, designing a database schema for an e-commerce platform. Any ideas? Uh, no, sir. Okay, fine. I'm not sure. Uh. Just let me know uh, how can you describe a complex SQL query and uh, write a business problem towards it. So voice is breaking. Okay. Okay. Fine. So my question is: uh, Describe a complex SQL query you okay. wrote to solve a business problem. Any one of the SQL query. Yes. A um, complex SQL query. Hi, yes, sir. One of the complex SQL query, what recently I have done one of the uh, mm -hmm. Zomato sales, that one. Okay. And we have to find the, how many orders have been reached uh, means for, to the customers. Okay. In that one, there are some of the null values. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, means uh, uh, the driver taken ID and the uh, customer receiver ID. In some of the, there is some null values. First I have done, I have removed the null values by using case statements case if the value is null then zero like that and next i have uh, joined the tables and between two and the driver ids and the customer ids uh, then i have the, then i have checked that if the driver id of the 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 order id the order id it is equals to the uh, customer order id mm -hmm. uh, then it will be uh, it will be done as one means it is true that it would Okay. Yeah, this one, sir. Okay, got you, got you. Okay. 
So how would you uh, ensure the data integrity and consistency in a multiple user database environment? Can you explain me the techniques or the tools you used? Values which I have replaced that means. Sorry? Means uh, how we can remove the null values, that one. Okay. What else? Duplicates? Huh. Duplicates, null values, mm -hmm. uh, these data types, the getting the da uh, data type. Okay. Okay. So can you explain me what is the difference between rank and dense rank? Rank. Uh, see, by example, I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead. See, uh, if there is a uh, four numbers, 8,000, 8,000, 6,000, 7,000. Okay. If we use the rank function, it will give the ranks. Means first to 8,000, it will give one one rank and it will skip the second rank. And okay. it will give 1,000, it will give the third rank. And for 6,000, it will give the fourth rank. Okay. If you see in the dense rank, it will does not skip the uh, it will does not skip the value. It will give for first eight thousand it will give one one, and mm -hmm. for seven thousand it will give two, and for uh, six thousand it will give three. Here the rank will be not skipped in dense rank. Okay, well, so uh, what do you understand by CTE, sir? CTE, common text, uh, common table expression. This is used for for creating a temporary variables. Mm -hmm. if, if you wanted to create any large table and if you wanted to use again and again mm -hmm. by using a with CTE, uh, like we can create the table and by using that we have given a above, we can by using that one, we can write the queries. Okay. So can you explain me what is uh, uh, cross join? Cross join. Mm -hmm. so if there is, yeah, if there are two tables, but there is no condition, if there is no condition to join the two tables, by using the cross join, we can join the tables and we can get the. This is a Cartesian product. Okay. What do you understand by Cartesian product? This one only, sir. If uh, example like if you are having uh, set A and set B, uh, set B is having one, two, three. Mm -hmm. We will get all the values A one, A two, A three, B one, B two, B three. Like that, we will get all the outputs by using cross join. Well, and. Uh... Can you explain me the difference between a having clause uh, and a where clause? So, uh, where clause is used to filter the based on the conditions which they are given. But here we we are unable to use the aggregate functions. If we come through the having clause, say uh, use it for the uh, filter the rows. But here we can use the aggregate functions like sum, uh, max, min, average these. Yeah, this having clause will be used after the group by. Okay, okay. Well, so with that, uh, let's come to the part of Power BI. Okay. okay. Uh, Sainath, uh, just let me know, how would you create an interactive dashboard in Power BI that can dynamically update based on user input? User I mean, let's say uh, I'm giving an value and uh, it will change in real time. So how can you do that? Is it possible? Hi, yes, sir. Can interactive dashboard? Hi, yes, it is possible. Okay. How can you do that? Any idea? I know, sir. Okay. Well, not an issue. Can you describe me a scenario where you have to use Power BI to integrate data from non-traditional sources like web scrapping or APIs, how did you handle data transformation and visualization? Uh, uh, web scrapping these, mm -hmm. mainly I have by, by using these uh, libraries in Python. Okay. By using libraries in Python, by using these pandas. By, by using pandas, we can easily, means uh, we can easily remove the null values which you are there. Okay. The, the data cleaning will be done very, we are very easy in the when we mm -hmm. use Python, this one pandas. After so, that one, so don't simple. you think that web scrapping is uh, you know kind of uh, uh, not uh, not uh, recommended? Is it so web scrapping? Ah yes sir, it is. Mm -hmm. Does it take a lot of time? Ah yes, sir, it will take a lot of time. Okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, 
how would you ensure the performance and the scalability in power bi reports when dealing with large data sets means uh, if there is any if you wanted to check any errors or not there that one sir uh like ha huh, performance in the sense like how would you ensure huh. the performance right and there will be one option view okay in column i think there is one option view now there is a two options a uh, quality check and one is view error okay. i think so if we if you click on that one it will show the graphs and the how much uh, how much data is clean how much errors are there what is the efficiency of that one in, i think in view tab there will be two options sir when we use that um, data data table there will be option do you think slicer uh, is a good uh, you know way to integrate yourself into power bi ha uh, yes sir slicer is uh, slicer is used very good okay. way to to check the interactive dashboards by using that one okay um sure ha uh, yes okay so um tell me what do you understand by power query power query is used for data transformation see first when we imported the data into uh, into the power bi the first step we have to transform the data we mm -hmm. have to transform the data and we have duplicate values null values and some of the uh, some of there will be some of the columns which will be not used by us we have by these all the process data cleaning and data transformation will be done in power query mm -hmm. okay so that's was from power bi again okay so i have couple of questions sign up again okay okay sir. yeah so uh, imagine you have a da uh, last data sets okay with many okay. Bad, uh, variables okay. okay how would you determine which variable are the most important so in between the voice is breaking okay let me again tell you ask you okay so imagine you have a large data set with okay. many values multiple va variables okay okay so how would you determine which variable are the most important see uh, we have to talk with the project members to know, first we have to talk with the project member what they want to uh, get what what the insights they want to get and what is the problem statement according to that one according to that scenario we have to uh, important variables in that one so if we directly see the data set the huge data set we are unable to find that one first we have to interact with them and we have to know the problem statement and we have insights they want then we can go through the data set it will be very easy okay fine fine with that uh, um i come to an uh, end of this podcast as well as the interview so we'll let you know about your results okay very soon okay okay sir. so thank you for joining uh, sign up 3d have a great day